Imagine your garden not just surviving, but thriving through the power of nature itself. Picture a once struggling garden crippled by pests and poor growth. Now envision it transformed into a lush, vibrant oasis, buzzing with life and productivity. How, you ask? Through the art and science of companion planting. This age-old technique harnesses the natural synergies between plants, creating a thriving ecosystem right in your backyard. So, buckle up as we delve into this botanical journey. Welcome to the world of companion planting. Companion planting, a timeless technique, leverages the natural synergies between plants. It's the garden equivalent of a solid friendship, where each party brings something unique to the table, resulting in a relationship that's greater than the sum of its parts. At its core, companion planting is about understanding how different plants interact, supporting each other's growth, and creating an overall healthier garden ecosystem. Now you might be asking, how exactly does this work? Well, let's consider a simple example. Ever noticed how roses and garlic seem to get along splendidly? That's because garlic deters pests that commonly plague roses, while roses in turn, provide a pleasant microclimate for garlic to thrive. This is a classic case of companion planting in action. But the benefits of companion planting extend beyond just pest control. It can help with pollination too. For instance, planting flowers alongside vegetables can attract bees and other pollinators, increasing the chances of successful fruiting. And let's not forget the impact on soil health. Certain plants, like beans, are known to enrich the soil with nutrients, making it more fertile for other plants growing nearby. It's a win-win situation for all involved. So, if you're looking to amp up your garden's productivity, consider giving companion planting a try. It's a simple, natural, and effective approach to gardening that can yield impressive results. Remember, the secret to a thriving garden lies in understanding and leveraging these natural relationships. So, let's dive deeper into the world of companion planting in the next segment. Let's delve into the science that makes companion planting work. At its core, companion planting is about creating plant communities that benefit each other in various ways, and these benefits are rooted deeply in science. First, we have allelopathy, an interesting phenomenon where certain plants release substances into the soil that can either benefit or harm other plants. For example, marigolds produce a substance that repels many common garden pests. When planted alongside vulnerable crops, they act as a natural pest control, keeping your garden healthy and vibrant. Next, we have the principle of shared nutrients. Different plants require different nutrients to grow. Some plants, like beans, are nitrogen fixers, meaning they can pull nitrogen from the air and convert it into a form that can be used by plants. When you plant beans next to plants that require a lot of nitrogen, like corn, you create a natural nutrient exchange that benefits both plants. And then there's the concept of mutual protection against pests. Certain plants can act as a physical barrier or decoy, drawing pests away from more vulnerable plants. For instance, planting tall, sturdy crops like sunflowers can provide a windbreak and shade for smaller, more delicate plants. But it's not just about deterring pests. Companion plants can also attract beneficial insects like bees and ladybugs, which are essential for pollination and pest control. This is a wonderful example of how companion planting can support and enhance biodiversity in your garden. So you see, Companion planting is more than just a gardening technique. It's a way to tap into the intricate web of relationships that exist in nature to create a more resilient, productive, and sustainable garden ecosystem. Understanding these scientific principles can unlock a new level of productivity and sustainability in your garden. Certain pairs of plants work particularly well together. That's the core concept of companion planting. Now let's delve into some of the most successful duos and trios that will surely bring a new level of vitality to your garden. First up, we have tomatoes and basil. These two are the best of buddies. The basil helps deter pests that love to feast on tomato plants like aphids and hornworms. Plus, it's said that planting these two together can even make your tomatoes taste better. Next, we have the dynamic duo of carrots and onions. The strong scent of onions helps to deter carrot flies, those pesky pests that can ruin your carrot harvest. In return, the feathery tops of the carrot plants help suppress weeds, providing a more favorable environment for the onions to grow. Then there's the classic trio known as the Three Sisters, corn, beans, and squash. This combination is a perfect example of mutual support. The corn provides a natural trellis for the beans to climb, the beans enrich the soil with nitrogen, and the squash with its broad leaves acts as a living mulch, shading the ground to preserve moisture and deter weeds. And let's not forget about marigolds. 
These bright, cheerful flowers are a great companion for just about any vegetable plant. They're known to repel a variety of insects, and their roots can deter nematodes, tiny soil-dwelling pests that can cause serious damage to your plants. These are just a few examples of the power of companion planting. But remember, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. What works in one garden might not work in another. It's all about understanding your plants, your soil, your climate, and the local pests and diseases you're up against. These combinations have stood the test of time and can bring incredible vitality to your garden. So, why not give companion planting a try? You might just be amazed at the transformation. So, how can you start companion planting in your own garden, you may wonder? The first step is to start with a plan. Knowing what you want to achieve with your garden will guide you in selecting the right plant pairs. Are you looking to maximize your crop yield? Or maybe you want to create a natural pest deterrent? Perhaps your goal is to improve the quality of your soil. Once you've established your goals, it's time to select your plants. One of the great things about companion planting is that it can work with a wide variety of plants. From vegetables and herbs to flowers and shrubs, all can benefit from having the right neighbor. But remember, not all plants play well together. Some combinations can actually hinder growth or attract pests. That's why it's crucial to do a little research before you start planting. When choosing your plant pairs, consider their needs and behaviors. Some plants love sun, while others prefer shade. Some need a lot of water while others are more drought tolerant. Some grow quickly, while others take their sweet time. Pairing plants with similar needs can make your gardening tasks easier and more efficient. Now let's talk about layout. Consider the size of your garden and the space each plant needs to grow. Tall plants can provide shade for shorter ones, but they can also block their sunlight if not properly positioned. Some plants spread out while others grow vertically. Keeping these factors in mind will help you create a layout that promotes healthy growth for all your plants. Of course, companion planting is not a one-size-fits-all solution. What works in one garden might not work in another due to differences in climate, soil type, and local pests. That's why it's essential to observe and adjust. Pay attention to how your plants are doing. If a pair doesn't seem to be working out, don't be afraid to try something else. Remember, companion planting is not just about putting two plants next to each other and hoping for the best. It's about creating a harmonious ecosystem where every plant has a role to play. With careful planning, you can create a garden that is not just beautiful, but also highly productive and sustainable. Don't just take our word for it. Hear from real gardeners who've seen the benefits of companion planting firsthand. Let's hear from Sarah, a dedicated urban gardener who shares, I was constantly battling pests in my small city plot. But once I started companion planting, my garden flourished. It's like I unlocked a secret weapon. Next, we have John, a seasoned farmer who tells us, Companion planting has not only improved my crop yield, but it's also enhanced the overall health of my soil. It's a win-win. And then there's Lisa, a first-time gardener who says, I was skeptical at first but the results speak for themselves. My tomatoes have never been this juicy and pest-free. These are just a few of the countless success stories from people who have embraced the wisdom of nature through companion planting. They've witnessed their gardens transform into lush, vibrant and productive spaces. Companion planting is a tried and true method that gardeners around the world swear by. Companion planting is more than just a gardening technique, it's a philosophy that embraces nature's wisdom. We've journeyed through the world of companion planting, learning how this timeless technique can transform our gardens into vibrant, productive ecosystems. We've seen how it leverages natural synergies between plants to deter pests, enhance growth and improve soil health. We've delved into the science behind the magic, understanding how principles like allelopathy and shared nutrients come into play. We've explored key combinations like tomatoes with basil and the three sisters, and learned how to implement these strategies in our own gardens. We've heard success stories from fellow gardeners, testament to the incredible benefits of companion planting. And now, it's your turn. Transform your garden into a testament to nature's power. Embrace companion planting and watch as your garden becomes a beacon of health and harmony.